downtown talking to others who want the senator punished. Ashley. That's right, Corey. Tonight here in front of Holly's office here in front of this federal building in St. Louis, he is receiving a lot of criticism for what many are saying he helped to incite those riots we saw yesterday. He's crossed the line. It's a whole constituents of Senator Josh Hawley say it's now too deep and too late for him to climb out of. We were disturbed. Less than 24 hours after rioters stormed the Capitol to use violence to try to stop the certification of the Electoral College, a number of organizations are now petitioning in Missouri and across the nation for the resignation of Senator This is not some political game. The dust settles. The concern grows. This is emergency of the highest magnitude. Removal or impeachment? The debate grows as the president changes his tone. We must get on with the business of America. Tracking the COVID vaccine, St. Louis County forms a new plan to boost vaccinations. I am super, super, super anxious and excited to get a vaccine. But when you'll get yours? We don't exactly have a grasp on that. First the clouds and the cold. Next up, flurries and snow showers. I'll detail what to expect for tomorrow and when our next warm-up arrives. Live from the KMOV Broadcast Center in downtown St. Louis, this is News 4 at 10, watching out for you. Tonight, new concerns are building that the rioters behind the attempted coup at the Capitol may be planning new attacks. New federal intelligence indicates Washington and federal buildings may be targeted. That comes as a spotlight centers on Missouri Senator Josh Hawley. Allies of the Republican are backing away, blaming him for the invasion because of continued attacks on the election results. We are live on that in just a second. First, breaking news, Education Secretary Betsy DeVos is out. Tonight, she is the president's second cabinet member to resign following yesterday's Capitol invasion. And DeVos says she blames the president's rhetoric for fueling the terroristic siege. She calls the behavior, quotes unconscionable. Also breaking tonight, Missouri businessman David Humphreys is calling on Senator Hawley to be censured. The Missouri Independent reporting Humphreys says Hawley is being a, quote, political opportunist using, quote, irresponsible, inflammatory and dangerous tactics to incite the Capitol riots. This is significant because Humphreys bankrolled Hawley's Senate campaign. News Force Ashley Lincoln is downtown talking to others who want the senator punished. Ashley. That's right, Corey. Tonight here in front of Holly's office here in front of this federal building in St. Louis, he is receiving a lot of criticism for what many are saying he helped to incite those riots we saw yesterday. He's crossed the line. It's a whole constituents of Senator Josh Hawley say it's now too deep and too late for him to climb out of. We were disturbed. Less than 24 hours after rioters stormed the Capitol to use violence to try to stop the certification of the Electoral College, a number of organizations are now petitioning in Missouri and across the nation for the resignation of Senator Josh Hawley. We hit a tipping point where everybody said this is wrong, even after that diabolical uh, riot that took place yesterday. He persisted and consistently said that he still wanted to overturn the election. Pastor B.T. Rice of New Horizon Church says Holly has been one of the more vocal politicians feeding conspiracy theories that the election was rigged. It's more than just a political issue. It is how our country can come together. Politicians have to stop encouraging this kind of activity. Rice is one of nearly 20 St. Louis City and St. Louis County pastors with the interfaith clergy calling for the resignation of Senator Hawley, and they're not alone. Online, there are a growing number of petitions demanding the senator's expulsion. This one on change.org has surpassed its goal of 75,000 signatures. Fellow Republican and former Missouri U.S. Senator John Danforth is pulling all support ever given to Holly. And GOP State Representative Shamet Dogan tweeting he regrets having voted Holly into office. I'm mad. I'm really upset um, over the way that I think Senator Holly is being irresponsible with this. This is not some political game. Violence is not how you achieve change. 
Hawley still decided to object to the approval of some electoral college votes. Tonight, the junior senator saying, I will never apologize for giving voice to the millions of Missourians and Americans who have concerns about the integrity of our elections. That's my job and I will keep doing it. He's incapable of representing the state of Missouri. And you can see one of these petitions is growing by the seconds as that number continues to grow as people continue to sign this petition. Now, Rice also tells us that they hope to gain momentum by spreading this message across the state to getting other clergymen on board in denouncing Senator Hawley. Live tonight in downtown, Ashley Lincoln, News 4. Ashley, thank you. As you heard Ashley mention, Senator Hawley is receiving a strong rebuke from retired Republican Missouri Senator John Danforth. Senator Danforth calls his past.